Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to animate a race in May. It may be useful, if you are a motion graphic designer, and want to apply for a job. Anyway, this tutorial is going to be in two parts. And, this is the part one. So today, we are going to create this. So, let's get started. For animating a resume, first, you need to have a resume. You can easily create it by visiting the website, optocarrier.com. Optocarrier.com provides hundreds of templates, such as, resume, cover letter, invoice, gift card and calendar. Sign up now, and you can download many templates for free. You can also subscribe for one month, and you will get the next month 100% free. Visit the first link in the description. I am using this template design for this tutorial, but you can go with anyone. Anyway, open After Effects and create a new composition. Let's call it Tracy May. As always, I am using the 1920 by 1080 resolution at 60 frames per second. Let's make the duration 30 seconds longer and then hit OK. Now, we will create each section, on a different composition, so that we can manage them easily. Let's create a new composition, and I'll call it the intro. I am using the same frame size, and same frame rate. But the duration will be 10 seconds. Now create a new solid. And let's choose a bright grey color for it. So that it won't to be too bright, or too dark. Let's call it the background. And then hit OK. The first step is to import the display picture. I am using this picture. Import it into the project, and then place it onto the timeline. Right click on it and choose pre-compose. Let's call it the display picture, and then click on the leave all attributes in the intro. Now we are going to add a mask on it. Make sure your layer is selected, then go to the tools, and select the ellipse tool. Now hold down the shift key on your keyboard, and start creating a circle on this picture. Now select the move tool, and make sure the circle mask should be smaller than your picture. So that it can perfectly fit into the picture. You can transform the mask path by double clicking on it. Perfect, it's time to animate it. Go to the 1 second position, and then press S to open scale. Let's change the scale value to around 60%. And then add a keyframe on it. Now go to the first frame position, and change the scale value to 0%. Here we have this boring scale animation. Now go to the 2 second position, and press P to open position. And then add a keyframe on it. Go to the 3 second position. Change the Y position value to around 370 pixels. Again go to the tools, and this time select the text tool. Click anywhere on the screen, and start typing your text. Unfortunately, my text color is white, so let's change the color to the dark gray color. By the way, you can download this font from the link in the description. Select the first name and change its font type to the bold. Cool, now eject from the typing tool, and then click here, for adding your designation. I am using the fake information. Don't think I am the Batman. Let's change the font size to around 25%. And place this text below the name text. I am choosing the font type to light. 
as well as, I am increasing the kerning value to around 200 points. Align it to the center. Now go to the first keyframe position. And then select both text layer, open position, and change the Y position value, to place the text, at this position. And then add a keyframe on it. Again go to the second keyframe position, and change the Y position value, so that our text can appear into the center. Now select all keyframes, right click on it, go to the keyframe assistant, and select easy ease. Open graph editor, if your graph doesn't look like this, then right click here, and select edit speed graph. Now select keyframes one by one, and change the curve to something like this. Switch back to the timer line, and let's turn on the motion blur for all layers, and then click here to activate it. Here we have this nice looking animation. Cool. Now select the text layers only, and drag them to the right. So that it will start moving, after a few frames of this display picture. Now go to around this position. And then open opacity, by pressing the T. And add a keyframe on it. Go to around a few frames backwards. And change the opacity value to 0%. Cool, this is what we have now. Now select this display picture layer, and then open scale. Now select both keyframes, and easy ease them. Open graph editor, and change the curve to something like this. Switch back to the timer line, and this is our animation looks now. Our first intro section is complete. Let's move to the next section. Create a new composition, and we will call it the skill. I am using the same setting. And then hit OK. The first step is to create a new solid, we will call it the background. Choose any color you want. Now go to the effects and the presets, and search for the gradient ramp. Apply it onto the layer, and I am going to change the color of start, and the end. You are free to choose any color you want. But I like this color combination, so I am going to use it. Perfect. Now go to the tools, and select the text tool. Click anywhere on the screen, and start typing your text. You don't have to copy the same text, if you are the person who has different skills, then use your own skill title. I am using a white color for this, also, my text size is 40. Let's use a bold font. Now unselect your layer, then go to the tools, and select the pen tool. Please note, my fill is set to none and my stroke is set to a solid color, with a stroke size of 23. Now click here, hold down the shift key on your keyboard, and then click here to create a perfectly straight line. In case you want to change the line size, you can do it by dragging these anchor points. Let's change the stroke color to white. Also, I am going to rename this layer as the slider back, and then make a duplicate of it. Let's call it slider main. And then change the stroke color, to something else. I am using this yellow green color for it. You are free to use any color you want. Now click on this add button, and select the trim paths. Now open this trim paths option, and we are going to use this end, for animating this slider. Let's change the value back to 0%. Then go to around 1 second position. And add a keyframe on it. Now go to the 2 second position. And change the end value, according to your skill. Never lie on your resume, else you will regret it later. There can be a hundred people in the room and 99 don't believe in you. But I had this one incredible talent with me. There can be a hundred people in the room and 99 don't believe in you and you just need one to believe in you and that was him so.
you can have 100 people in the room that are watching you and 99 don't believe in you and one does and that was him so you know there could be a hundred people in the room and 99 don't believe but all it takes is one you know a hundred people can be in a room and 99 don't believe in you and just one person believes in you and it can change everything there can be a hundred people in the room and 99 don't believe in you and just one does you know, there can be a hundred people in the room and 99 don't believe in you and just one does. A hundred people in, there can be in a one room, right? And 99 don't believe in you, but just one believes and it can change your whole life. A hundred people in the room you can have and 99 don't believe in you and just one does and it changes your whole life. And... Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Anyway. Let's minimize this layer, and select the slider back layer, and change its opacity value to 50%. Cool, this is much better now. Now select the top layer. And then press U, to open keyframes. Select all keyframes, and easy ease them. Now select all three layers. And then press P, to open position. Go to around 30 frames position and add a keyframe on it. Now go to the first frame, and change the position value, to place these layers at this position. Now select all keyframes, right click on it, and easy ease them as well. Open graph editor, and in case, if you need to zoom in a little, you can use the plus key on your keyboard. Now select the keyframes, and change the curve to something like this. Also, Turn on the motion blur for all layers. Cool, this is our animation looks now. Switch back to the timeline, select all keyframes, and place them around this position, so that it will take some time to appear. Now go to the 30 frames position, and then open opacity. Here add a keyframe on it. Go to the 20 frames position and change opacity value to 0%. Check the animation, and if required, adjust the keyframe timing, so that it will appear, at the time of the position, not before it. Cool. Now right click on the keyframes, and easy ease them. Check the animation, and it should look like this. Let's select these three layers once again, and pre-compose them. Let's call it Photoshop, and now we are going to make more of these skills. This step is important. So stop thinking about your crush, and focus here. Go to the project, and select the Photoshop comp. Now go to edit and click duplicate. Make sure you are duplicating the composition, from the project window. Not from the timeline. Let's call it After Effects, and then place it onto the timeline. Use the shift plus down arrow key, to place it, at this position. Also, place it to the right, so that the layer should start from the 20 frames. Cool. Now simply open this After Effect composition, and change the text whatever you want. If you check into the main composition, you can see the changes in real time. You can also change the slider percentage, simply select it. Press U, to open keyframes. Go to the end keyframe, and change the end value, according to your skill. Cool. Switch back to the main composition, and here we have this second skill as well. Let's add more skills. Simply make a duplicate, from the project window. Place it onto the timeline. Align the position and then do the changes you need. I am speeding up this step, just to save your time. Cool. Make sure to align these layers into the center. Now switch back to the Racing May composition. And then place Intro, and the Skill Comp into the timeline. Now we are going to merge both of these comps together. But first, let's go to the 5 second position. 
and then create a new null object. Let's call it the position. And then place it on top of all layers. Select both layers, and then parent them with this position. Now select the position, and then press P, to open position. And then add a keyframe on it. Now go to the 8 second position. And change the Y position value, to negative 540 pixels. Also, select the skill layer. And use shift, plus down arrow key, to make it fit the frame position. There is one problem you can see. I want the skills animations, to start after the skill window appear on the frame. But, if I place it further, the layer goes to black at the beginning, because my starting position of this layer is 7 second. So make sure the starting position of this layer is at the same time as this keyframe. Cool, check the animation, and this looks much better now. Let's select both keyframes, and right click on it and select easy ease, open graph editor, and change the curve to something like this. Also, make sure to turn on the motion blur, for both layers. Switch back to the timeline, and this is our animation looks now. Let's adjust the timing of the skill now. Open this skill comp. Select all layers, and place their position to the right. So that it will start after the 30 frames. Switch back to the main composition, and RAM preview this. I think my animation is a bit slow, let's adjust the timing of it. Simply, select this position, and drag it to the left, so that the first keyframe will start at 4th seconds. Also, Make sure the skill layer also starts at 4 seconds. Ram preview this, and our first part animation is complete, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching this tutorial, have a good day. If you want to download pre-made templates, sound effects, and stock footage, Make sure to visit the Envato Elements, you can check the link in the description.